Welcome to the desert of the real. You know, there's a whole little greeting process. You say goodbye, Ghani, then you mention the the, 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 the the principle of the day, and then they respond back with the principle. Oh, well, let's do that again. Habar Ghani. <laughs> you moja. You moja, Habar Ghani. <laughs> Thank you for educating us, brother. Uh, oh, man. So, what are you? Th- I know you have a lot to say on this issue. <laughs> I'm 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 trying to see if I want to censor myself or not on it, because um, I mean you. I you, feel you. I feel you. <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny. Somebody earlier today posted on Facebook a Baragani with a with three question marks, and I almost fell out. It's like, wow, you you don't know that. <laughs> I mean, shoot, like I've been saying on on my on my spot, consciousness has to precede unity, and this unity on just black folks being oppressed, this unity just on all black folks getting together just because they black. We have tried it for the last fifty, sixty, seventy years, and it has not worked. And and folks giving me. <laughs> Grief because I hold that position just by looking at history and then saying let's do something different and hold up, know what I'm talking about and I'm really going over in my head. Do I want to respond? Um, I doubt if I do it this week. If I do do it, but not, I won't as far as to that specifically. But just here, here today, I am down for unity. I love black people. Semicolon. We have to go about getting unity differently than the failed ways we've been trying to do it over the last 50, 60 years. I'm down for band aid projects. And in band aid projects, that's where all these different groups of different ideologies and all that sort of stuff can get together and do stuff. Stopping police brutality in the neighborhood, stopping domestic violence. Um, um, other stuff like that. But we want to talk about nation building, when we want to talk about creating programs to educate children, when we want to talk about creating self sustaining communities and societies. You need ideological cohesion for that. You need cultural consistency for that. And and having all these disparate groups coming together trying to do that, it will not work. And so some folks call it divisive, I call it looking at history and trying to do something different. Um, but uh, actually, you know, like I I agree that because basically what you're talking about is infrastructure. That's what you're talking about. You're talking about the construct, the context that we're supposed to be existing in. I don't see how that can be what you're saying can be really argued. If if it's going to be a successful model, because I has there been anybody like. Has there been any group, has there been any other group ever used someone else's paradigm to create their system? See, people don't even want to get that deep. I agree, I agree with you. No, it hasn't. But people don't want to get that deep. They just see what's going on and say we got to unify because we all catching hell. And and there's more steps to it than that. <laughs> that's, why I'm, that, that's why I make the distinction between nation building and what I'm calling Band-Aid Project. And the unity that most folks want, can be had with the Band-Aid project, but it can't be had on that larger scale with the nation building. It, it's been tried and it's failed every single time, every single time. The nation building model, and I think that's the one I tend to um, concentrate on on my shows, the nation building model. Um, and, and you know, like I'm a big Amos Wilson person. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like his 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 work is this 
definitive work on that subject matter. And what he basically talks about is basing our systems on an African epistemology. Mm -hmm. And um, Mm -hmm. that can't be, I mean, that really can't be argued with. (laughs) If you're going to talk about infrastructure, if you're going to talk about the actual systems that you put in place, those systems have to be based on an African epistemology if it's going to benefit African people. Now, once the system is in place, when we when like if you talk about um people's right to choose whatever religious practice that they want, I mean that goes without saying to me i don't th- I don't think that you have to create some model where you have to do this or you have to do that as a matter of fact, I was having a discussion with somebody about that recently um, these the the concept of these laws you know like where I didn't see like a, there was a lot of laws put in place to prevent behavior in ancient African cult, you know societies. Like, don't do you know like I'm going to create a law telling you don't screw with animals <laughs> in order to stop you. You know what I'm saying? Like in order to stop you from doing it. You know that we didn't operate off mm-hmm. that principle. That's, yeah, that's, I really I'm one of those people. Maybe I'm naive. But I really believe that once we control the context of what we live in and we and that and that context is based on an African paradigm, a lot of these problems that we're having right now simply would not have the it would it would be like it wouldn't have the fuel or the water or any any anything behind it to grow and actually exist in the first place. Right. Right. <laughs> I just I just feel that way. Ah. See, see, I, I, I'm trying not to talk about certain things, <laughs> but, but, but that comment and, 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 and some comments that was made last week in, in the chat room are really, <laughs> no, I'm not going to talk about it. Shut up now. Yeah, so no, I feel you. Yeah, Dr. Clark even said that you, you, you've got a difference between customs and, and the law, and, and if what you're trying to do is rooted in the customs of the people, you don't need the law. You don't need to write it down. So, yeah, yeah, you you write on point. But I'm biting my tongue. <laughs> well, you know, like I said, well, you know, I've spoken to to the both parties involved, and I tell you, you know, I love both of y'all brothers. I think you're both good brothers. I just think that it's like I compare it to like if you we, you're both looking at a diamond, you're on one end of the diamond looking at it, he's on the other end looking at it. You know what I'm saying? It's like it depends on on what level in which your your conversation is or what you're concentrating on at that particular point in time. Because like you it's said, like, you even agree that with the what you call well, you call it the band aid, mm-hmm. the, the common interest, because mm-hmm. that's that's real. We do have common interests that cut across all of that crap that, that we all suffer from. I don't think anybody would ever say that we don't. But what you're talking, what you're concentrating on, is the actual infrastructure of the system itself. If I'm not yeah. in, in, in my end of in the no, ball yeah. park there. No, yeah, 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 you are, but there was also some disparaging comments about Africa and some other stuff. <laughs> I'll, I'll shut up, come on. So, but but no, you 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 said it right. You said it right. 